I want to say why I am here. And the reason why I'm here is because I'm Nicaraguan. I'm not a Sandinista. I'm not a member of the Contra. I'm not a member of any political party. And I feel that the crucial question that we have in front of us is, is Nicaragua the aggressor or is Nicaragua the country that has been aggressed? And the main reason why I'm here is because Congress is going to vote one more time on whether they will give military aid to the Contras and whether that is the right way to go. And I feel I want to speak on behalf of the people of Nicaragua, those people who are not Sandinistas, no Contra, just the average, uh, the average people who are suffering from this war. And what I would like the British people to understand today is that this is a senseless war, that nothing is going to be achieved, that to give more military aid to the Contras will not solve the problem, that Nicaragua is not contrary to what um, my dear friend here said is not the backyard of the United States, nor should it be. Nicaragua. Work, I've never said that. Nicaragua is just a little country. Yes, it's true, like any other country in Central America. And it's true that we have suffered for many years the oppression and we have been uh, the uh, neo colonials of the United States. But I think that this is 1988, and it is a time when we can let, or even those tiny little countries, decide for themselves what kind of government they want. I know that the Sandinistas are not an example of democracy. But that is the government that the people of Nicaragua want to have in there, in there today. And it is not to the United States to decide what kind of government we will have. I feel that there are many things that we could ask the Sandinistas to change. True. I know that the Sandinistas have committed many infractions. But on spite of that, I don't think that that justified the fact that the United States wants to overthrow the government. Uh, I'd like to take up one or two points first. First of all, it's quite untrue.